I'm Rich Lund, and I'm just a guy trying to help out the Monarchs. I made the Raising Monarchs video series, which you can check out here. And I also made the Planting Milkweed video series, if you want to grow milkweed in your yard, which is available here. And I'm doing this video today, just kind of impromptu, because I, I tried an experiment today. And if you do this, and you have the same success as me, you can get plenty of eggs. So, I, what happened was I woke up this morning, and there was a female on my cone flowers. And I've been, I've been thinking about doing this, and I, I needed a female for this, but I needed a female from nature. And not one that I've raised on my own, because I'm hoping to find, and I did find, a female who's, who's already been around and hopefully met that special guy and has made it and has viable eggs to lay. Uh, if you want to repeat this, one thing that you will need is uh, you're going to need a, a way of catching the butterfly, and I recommend these butterfly nets. Specifically ones that have this length to them. I don't sit there and go swooping around, but instead what I'm able to do is hold on to this end and I can just cover where the butterfly was nesting and then once she's encouraged to fly upward, I can just quickly close it and she'll be in this portion here safe from harm. So uh, for the next part though, what I also needed and I already had is one of those accordion laundry hampers, those nice net mesh ones. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so uh, this is my, my clothes hamper, and it's actually upside down. Um, it's got these little clasps on there holding it in place, and that's because I, I cut this open for a different experiment. Forget about that. You don't need to do that. In fact, I wish that this didn't have that closing now, but these are just there to hold it in place. Uh, I put the female monarch inside of this clothes hamper, uh, placed her in there first, nice and gently, once I had already captured her, and then using the bottom part, I stretched it open and placed it over the milkweed that was already growing in my yard. In the planting milkweed video series, we've shown you how to grow it, and it was mostly just to try to grow milkweed so that way monarchs have this available. But if you've got some now growing in your yard, you can do this too, provided you got the right equipment. You might recognize this area from the uh, planting milkweed video series. This is where we, our first spot where we planted some new ones and we already had some growing. I kind of pushed a few over so I could get this into place. And the monarch has been in there with the milkweed since 11 p.m. and it's currently uh, about 20 to 7 p.m. now. She's been in there for a good number of hours. We're going to let her go now and we're going to see what the results are as far as did she give us some eggs and if so how many. So I'm going to open it up. I guess that is convenient that I did have this cut open. We're going to let her go now. Oh, There she is. And I gotta be honest, I don't know if, um, if females can lay unfertilized eggs or not. That's something I'm gonna find out through doing this process. But uh, her wing was a little bit roughed up, so I think that she's probably been around for a few days. There's a really good chance that if you found a female, pretty high chance that she's already found a male and she already has viable eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and let her go now. And now that this is open, I'm going to very carefully, because I already see plenty of eggs, I'm going to very carefully remove the, uh, the laundry hamper from around the milkweed. Put some rocks in here to, to weigh it down so it didn't blow over. Now one thing I'm also going to do, even before I check out that plant thoroughly, is I'm going to look over the netting on this just to see if any eggs were laid on this accidentally. I've done this before with eastern black swallowtails, and when I did, I had parsley and dill plants inside of here, and some of the eggs did get laid on this netting mesh, but I'm not seeing any. I see a cool little spider, but uh, no eggs on here. Let's look at the plants. Whoa. Um... There's an egg. And a big earwig. Yes, there's a big earwig there too. <laughs> and there's an egg. And there's another egg. And over on this plant, here's an egg. Here's one, two, three on one leaf. Here's an egg. Over on here, one, two, three, four, five. Nope, that right there, a little piece of bird dung. But eggs all over the place. Oh, it's going to take me a while to count all these. I didn't even notice these at first. There's like so many eggs right there, right there, and right on these little young leaves. Oh man, this is awesome. 
I've only been so far amazed at just the eggs that I'm finding on top. I didn't even look underneath the leaves yet. Check this out. We got plenty on top, but look at how many are there at the bottom. This was awesome. Amazing. I feel like I just milked a monarch of her eggs. Here's our haul. Let's see what we got. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven. Fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight. 53. Richard, how are you going to care for all of these eggs? I did more than this last year. Yeah, but they weren't all eggs at the same time. But new horizons, you know. We'll experience some new things. 54. 72. 79. 80. 81. 86. 87. 88. 89. 90, 91. 91. <laughs> According to my journals, we had 37 eggs that we found this summer. It's uh, July 18th, so since we started finding them uh, on June 29th, I had 37 eggs that I had found. And now on top of that, I've got 91. For a whopping total of 128. Got a lot of mouths to feed. Just like in the previous video, I cut all of these out into small leaf portions, that way when they black tip, I can put them on a fresh leaf. And uh, turned out to be 93 when it was all said and done. Now on the ones that were really close together on leaves, I couldn't cut those into individual squares, and so that way they wouldn't curl over on the egg. I pinned down the leaves. Had some insect pins already handy and ready to do this. Now, at this time also, I had no idea if they were viable or not. And it turns out, doing some research, females can lay a bunch of unfertilized eggs. So it was quite possible that these might not have been viable. I wasn't sure at first. Just had to wait and see. This happened really quick, but I got home today. This is the third day that I've had these eggs, and they have all black tipped. They are all viable, and some have even hatched. Since the filming of this, they have all hatched, every single one of them, all 93. It's a huge undertaking, to be honest. Uh, I'm comfortable with it because I know where I can find a lot of milkweed. And so I know I'll be able to get these guys well fed, but it's going to be a lot of work. I don't recommend doing something like this unless you have a good supply of milkweed. So, it's a big undertaking, but I'm looking forward to it. Look at that little guy. Alright, so I've... I didn't know if that would work or not, but it seems like a huge success. If you're interested in doing this, get yourself one of these accordion clothes hampers. They're really convenient for storage too. You'll be able to do that. Get yourself a good butterfly net or find some other way to easily catch a wild female and, and you can do this as well. You know, I've spent hours out there in the field looking for eggs and I'm still going to do that kind of work. But if I can get this to happen more often, I'm going to save myself a tremendous amount of time. Because I've got, I, I think I might be at my limit now as to how many eggs I can take care of just on myself, uh, just on my own for one summer. Uh, I have not ever seen any video talking about how to do this, though I've seen plenty of things on how to help the monarchs and how to raise them. If, if you can, if you're interested in getting this word out, please uh, you know, follow the account on Twitter. Um, Share this video with people on Facebook, on your own Twitter, whatever it is you hip cool people are using these days to socially communicate and help out the monarchs. This was amazing. Thanks.